What's going on, guys? This is James Allen. I am recording this on Friday, October 18th, 2024. Before I get into today's topic, I'd like to announce that I've finished um, payment on the Cityscape app. Uh, I've been writing a lot of uh, payment code for uh, in-app purchases, and uh, today I uh, did a test, and it worked. Of course, it's not a real um, credit card. It's a stimulated environment, uh, but you know, once the app is live, uh, it should be uh, processed through Apple Pay. So, hooray. Uh, and as you could notice, um, uh, what the person is buying to message other people on Cityscape is street cred. And street cred, like I said, is going to be a cryptocurrency later on the ICP network so that I could save uh, myself a lot of money by not paying Apple 30% of all these transactions and instead just processing the payment so people could message each other through the blockchain. That being said, let's uh, step back and... Uh, you know, get into today's topic. Uh, this morning, uh, after I've uh, tested uh, my code and saw everything was working, I went to the NNS dashboard uh, to see what's new, what's going on. And of course, I stumbled upon an interesting proposal. That is, I saw a proposal on the NNS to create a service network system. I think it's service nervous system, sorry, SNS, service nervous system for um, KongSwap. KongSwap. And of course, when I saw uh, this proposal to create an SNS for KongSwap, I was like, what the hell is What's Kong Swap? Right? I've never heard of this, you know. Of course, it, it kind of rings a familiar bell. Uh, I, I used to be a big fan of Donkey Kong Country, and um, you know, Kong Swap so sounded similar. So I clicked on the website to go see what it looks like, and the interface is absolutely amazing. I love um, uh, the Donkey Kong Country theme. I used to love playing that games, you know, just uh, you know, <laughs> running around collecting bananas in the jungle. And when you look at Kong Swap, it's a very similar theme. It's kind of like a Donkey Kong Country interface. But of course, what you could do is um, uh, swap ICP tokens. Uh, of course, the way to connect your wallet is via Internet Identity or a plug wallet, of course, so it supports both uh, method. And one of the things I like, of course, is the fact that you could click on stats and see uh, what the volume for each coin is like on the Internet Computer Network. Super cool. And I've been meaning to say that... Um, Throughout my experience, um, uh, using ICP Swap or IC Lighthouse or any of those uh, swaps on internet computer, I think another one is Infinity Swap. I hated them all. I'm gonna say that one more time. <laughs> I hated them all. I didn't like any of the um, uh, decentralized exchange platform on internet computer uh, until I met Kong Swap this morning, and I was like, finally. Uh, 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 a decentralized exchange on the internet computer I actually like both in terms of interface and what appears to be a smooth transaction process. I haven't done a swap yet there yet. I have not done a swap there yet. I'm going to say that one more time so I cannot speak in terms of how fast and how liquid these transactions are. And if anyone in the audience have done a swap or has done a swap on Kong Swap, let us know how was the user experience, how liquid and rapid the transaction was so that every one of us could be kept informed. Nevertheless, um, uh, I approved the proposal to create an SNS for KongSwap, of course, and I realized that they have a total uh, supply of 1 billion uh, tokens for KongSwap. And I don't know if whether I'm going to purchase some or not, because that might be a good, um, that might be a good investment. Uh, I assume as, um, as more and more tokens and more and more projects are built on internet computer and more investment comes on the internet computer, KongSwap is going to experience a lot of volume, a lot of liquidity, and I could totally see uh, a, a cool arbitrage opportunity by buying some KongSwap now while it's cheap and then swap it later, way later perhaps, um, when you know the decentralized exchange is more well known and more established on an IC. But that's it for this episode. Uh, what is your thoughts? Again, I love it, but that is a, a rather biased viewpoint because I grew up playing Donkey Kong Country. I was a huge fan of that video game and seeing Kong swaps sort of just made me feel at home. I have not did any, I have not done any swap on the platform, so uh, I cannot speak of its technical performance. I did read, um, uh, you know, their forum posts and it seems like they're, they're optimizing uh, trades on Kong Swap. In fact, I'm going to read to you um, uh, some of the stuff they said when they did the uh, um, NNS proposal because, again, I do want to keep you guys informed in regards to what's going on. So let me go ahead and record my screen. And that's the last thing I'll do before I leave. I'm going to read to you what they said on uh, the uh, Definity Forum uh, during their NNS proposal. What is Kong Swap? Kong Swap is the one stop. 
token shop, allowing users to trade across all chains with ease. KongSwap is a decentralized exchange offering seamless, bridgeless, cross-chain trading across multiple blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. It addresses common DeFi issues such as high fees, liquid fragmentation, and complex user experiences by utilizing chain fusion technology and stable memory within the internet computer framework, well, protocol. This enables direct, efficient interactions without relying on external bridges. The platform is fully decentralized, operating entirely on chain with both front end and back end hosted with smart contracts, developed by a team with strong back background in blockchain and finance. KongSwap aims to provide a robust and user friendly DeFi ex experience. And judging by what I'm seeing so far, um, uh, this seems to be um, uh, uh, true. And one thing I want to say is that um, if you remember uh, maybe a couple of months ago, I did an episode um, saying how Polkadot is in trouble because um, Chain Fusion is allowing uh, bridgeless trans transactions across multiple uh, blockchain network. And it seems like KongSwap is indeed using Chain Fusion, which is what allows it to do uh, cross-chain transactions like via Ethereum or Bitcoin or Solana. Hopefully, they also support Polkadot, but they're using Chain Fusion technology to do these bridgeless cross-chain transactions, which I think is super cool. And it, and it shows how uh, the development we're seeing is slowly progressing forward. So I'm going to go ahead and read that real quick and call this episode a day. How does multi-chain work on KongSwap? KongSwap utilizes Chain Fusion technology to achieve true cross-chain interoperability without relying on external bridges or intermediaries. That's a very important line. Again, this is why I said the need for Polkadot. Mm, I'm not sure it's uh, it's it's, it's going. Polkadot's in trouble. By building on the capabilities of the Internet Computer Protocol's Chain Fusion, KongSwap can natively integrate with multiple blockchain networks at the protocol level. This integration allows for direct communication and transactions between different blockchains, enabling users to seamlessly trade, lend, and borrow assets across various ecosystems in a secure and efficient manner. The initial integration will include firstly native Bitcoin, afterwards Ethereum, and Solana they are after. So I think you get it. Um, uh, super cool stuff here. And again, if anyone who's not familiar with Polkadot, uh, Polkadot allows interoperability across uh, multiple blockchain um, network by using the parachain system. And with technologies like Chain Fusion, you know, let's just say I'm not sure if um, something like Polkadot is, I'm not sure Polkadot is unique any longer <laughs> with technologies like that. In any case, guys, that's all I have for you in this episode. You know what to do. Don't forget to press that like button and support me on Patreon. What's $5 a month? You guys are ICP rich. What's 5 or $10 a month? Support me on Patreon so I could do this more. And yeah, I will see you next time.